Hey, Jeff, thank you so much for taking this interview and helping out Josh. Hey, Sophie, what's going on? Why'd you join up with Josh? That's a good question. So I've always been interested in politics. I've always been interested in current events. And I want to learn a little bit more about local politics. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get involved with a, like a local candidate and learn kind of the ins and outs of how a uh, campaign is run and, and learn more about politics in my area. OK, here's a tough one. Do you like corruption? I'm a huge fan of corruption, yeah. yeah. No, not really. Um, I think I'm obviously, as, as, as everyone else is, I'm against corruption. Um, I think Josh, uh, that's his entire platform. He's, he's anti-corruption. He's a political outsider. Um, and he's going to challenge the uh, kind of corrupt insiders that currently run our local government. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, I do have a couple of hobbies. I have a couple of hobbies. Um, I recently picked up cooking. I make a mean chicken fajita. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Uh, I like the game Spikeball a lot. Uh, I'm pretty into TV and film. If you were president, who would you fire? I'd have to go with Scott Pruitt. Um, he's the head of an organization, the EPA, that he spent his entire career fighting, which is kind of ridiculous that you're, you know, you're leading an organization you've spent so long in, in, this, it's so long in conflict with. Um, and he doesn't believe in man-made climate change, which is a huge you know, deal for someone who runs the Environmental Protection Agency. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If you were president, what law would you sign for? Um, I'd have to go with uh, the assault weapon ban. Uh, it was in place in the 90s, and there were significantly less mass shootings during that, that decade. Um, and so I thought it, I think it's a pretty successful ban, and that's what I'd probably put in place. And if you were president, which foreign leader would you want to meet? I'd have to go with Justin Trudeau. I think, yeah, he's a cool dude. And I think that we align, like, like we're like-minded people. We align politically, and just seems like a really genuine guy. If the public were to use one word to describe your presidency, what would you want to be? Uh, probably handsome. I think I'm, I've got to be in the top three best-looking presidents of all time. Yeah, what about John F. Kennedy? Yeah, I'd say Kennedy probably beats me. Maybe Brock, but okay. I, I got to be number three. I got to be. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I don't really know. I'm, I'm still figuring that out. Um, I'd like to go to law school and maybe see where that takes me afterwards. If, if the path takes me towards like a good like career in politics, then... That'd be, that'd be cool. Was there a turning point that made you want to go into that field? Uh, yeah, there was a turning point, actually. When I was in ninth grade, when I was a freshman in high school, uh, Josh was a senior. And it was that year that he decided to run for the school board of Syosset. And that was definitely like a wake-up call for me because I realized that young people can really, you know, they could do really big things and they could do anything they put their mind to. Uh, and it was amazing to me that someone only a few years older than myself at the time uh, could be on the board of our, of our school. That was mind-blowing to me. OK, finally, how awesome is Josh? He's a cool dude. He's, he's definitely awesome. Very nice guy. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jeff. Yeah, no problem.